They are playing with fire. What are you on about? I can't ban Debbie from going to Lisa's for dinner, can I? No, because then you'd have to tell her why, that the moron sitting opposite her is her father. Have you said anything to Chris? More to the point, have you? What's happening? In the news. Nothing. What do you think I should wear when I go to the Dingles? Well, I'd go for overalls and wellies if it was me. They're not likely to ask you, though, are they? <laughs> I'm devastated. You can't wear that. Why? Well, it's too... skimpy. <laughs> skimpy? You sound like my dad already. I'll definitely wear it. You know, you don't have to go if you don't want to. Why should I? Well, I thought you might have said you would, so as not to hurt Lisa's feelings. Of course not. They're a right laugh. Sometimes. They're your family. I know. So why are you dissing I'm them, not! Then? It must be me, then. You think I'm going to show you up, don't you? <sighs> Look, Debbie, if you can impress Chris, I don't think you'll have a problem with the dingles. Bet you're only coming to keep an eye on me. And who said I'm coming? They invited us both. No, Debbie, I'm just dropping you off. I know why. It's that cane, isn't it? You're scared he's going to go on about you being a stuck-up cow because you live here. Yeah, that's it, yeah. He's right and all. Time. I thought I'd do a brace. A what? You don't want to run short, not when you've got company. You intend on staying, then? It's very nice of you. Right, well, uh, <coughs> stuff is on the side. You best stick them in. All oh, right, champ. Hiya! <laughs> I hope you like chicken. Oh, I shall eat anything. Uh, you have a good time, right? You're not staying? No, I can't. Oh, come for a drink at least. Shadrach's here. Yeah. So we'll have your lunch ready. And if Shadrach and Kane get too much, you give me a ring, right? I'm not a child. No, oh, we'll be fine. Just ignore them. You'll be all right. Of course. Why shouldn't I be? Come on, lovey. It's quiet, isn't it? Now, Debbie. It won't be where she is. Joseph was never really one for spontaneous chatter, was he? It's just his age. He's, he's a bit thoughtful, reserved. It's not surprising, really, with his mother dying, all the changes here. Probably wonders who he can rely on. Listen, I'm sure in a year or two you'll be great friends and he'll realise that you've always been there for him. I hope so. That's why it's important we get on with adopting Debbie. You know, the sooner she knows where she stands, the better. Don't you think? Well, we all need that. I don't suppose adoptions can be hurried. I don't see why not in this case. It could be more straightforward. But you hardly know Debbie, really. She's Charity's child, for heaven's sake. You've got a lot of time to catch up, haven't you? Yeah. I'm not suggesting you abandon Debbie. You're well, I should hope not. But I think you should consider all the factors. You've pointed out the factors. Debbie would have spent the rest of her childhood in care if she hadn't come to the village. And no, I wasn't thrilled to find out that she was Charity's child, but I've had time to reflect and I can see how important it is to Charity. We have to adopt her. There's absolutely no reason why we shouldn't. But it's not as if her father's going to return from the grave to claim her, is it? All right, Shadrach. Hi. You've done that on earth for yourself. So have you. Debbie been all right, has she? Oh, she has. Proper little princess you've got there. She even wiped the scowl off Kane's mush. Who'd have thought it, eh? You ending up in a big house with a big car and a lovely daughter. Yeah, born lucky me. Didn't look that way when you were a teenager. I thought you'd turn out a scrubber. Look, just we just go and get Debbie. I even had to warn Kane off. Because he had a soft spot for you, didn't he? Can't remember. Oh, look, if you won't go and get her, I will. What's the rush? She's spending time, quality time, with her father. You've had too much sauce. Nah, I don't think so. It warms me out, though, to see how those two have taken to each other. 
the answer out of you. Oh, soul of discretion, me. Besides, you know what that lad's like if you think someone's been behind his back. Oh, it doesn't bear thinking of her. Shadrach. Have this. What's that for? For being the soul of discretion. No, we weren't trying to blackmail you now. No. Uh, keep quiet about it, for Debbie's sake. She's got the chance of a fresh start. Oh, there's a few of us could do with one of those. Hey, do you know what someone who keeps tortoises is? No. Herpological, if you must know. So you've had a good time then, Debbie? Great. She's been smashing. Good. Can I stay a bit longer? No, I was always doing tea. I'm stuck. Debbie! What's the brush? What, are you scared you might get contaminated? Oh, go on, pet. You know you're welcome any time. That's right. Home from home, is this? Not for you, it's not. That reminds me, where's the uh, family money pot? Oh, so you can dip your paws in it? No, I just want to contribute. Where did you get that? <laughs> Ink's not still wet, is it? You uh, haven't divvied up yet, have you, Kane? Yeah, mind your own business. I always taught you to pay your way. I've only got a fiver. Give it here. Meet me. Give it in, you little tea leaf. Well, Lisa. You little git. Big git. Two of a kind, those, apparently. 